Imagine being in a world where reality mingles with imagination, where the boundaries of business are redefined. Welcome to the realm of virtual and augmented reality. Virtual reality or VR is that fascinating technology that enables you to enter and interact with a completely digital environment. It's like stepping into a different world where the rules of physics can be bent or even broken. On the other hand, augmented reality or AR brings digital elements into your real world surroundings. Think of it as a layer of digital magic over the real world, enhancing your perception and interaction with your environment. These two technologies, though similar, have distinct key differences. VR offers an immersive experience, detaching you from the physical world. AR, however, keeps you in the real world while enhancing it with digital elements. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Tech Demystified, for more insights into the world of technology. Now, why should we care about these technologies? Because they're not just about cool games and sci-fi fantasies. They're transforming the way businesses operate and solve problems. Virtual and augmented reality are already making waves in various sectors. In healthcare and aviation, they're used for realistic, immersive training scenarios. In the gaming and entertainment industry, VR takes gaming to a whole new level, while AR adds an extra dimension to our entertainment experience. In retail, Arkansas is reshaping the shopping experience with virtual try-ons and interactive marketing. Meanwhile, architects and designers are using VR and AR to visualize their projects and create design prototypes. The future of VR and AR holds unbounded potential. As hardware becomes more accessible and powerful, these technologies will continue to permeate our lives. Businesses are increasingly adopting VR and AR for collaboration, design, and training. And with the integration of AR into wearable devices, we're heading towards an era where digital and physical realities are seamlessly intertwined. Companies like Facebook, with its Oculus VR, Microsoft's HoloLens, and Google's Arcor, are leading the charge in VR and AR. Partnerships between these tech giants and innovative startups are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with these technologies. However, the journey of VR and AR is not without challenges. Creating high-quality content for these platforms is a complex task. Privacy and ethical concerns, particularly with AR, cannot be overlooked. And factors like cost and technical expertise can be barriers to widespread adoption. While VR and AR hold immense potential, they are not without their challenges. The first obstacle is the high cost of VR and AR devices and software. The technology is still relatively new, and the cost of entry can be prohibitive for many consumers and businesses. Secondly, VR and AR applications require powerful hardware to run smoothly. This often means expensive high-end computers and devices. The third challenge is the lack of high-quality engaging content. While there are many developers creating VR and AR experiences, we still have a long way to go before we see the breadth and depth of content we're used to in traditional media. The fourth issue concerns health. Prolonged use of VR and AR devices can lead to a range of health issues, including eye strain, dizziness, and even psychological effects. Finally, there are privacy and ethical concerns. VR and AR applications often require access to a lot of personal data, leading to concerns about how this data is collected, stored, and used. Despite these challenges, the future of VR and AR is promising. Developers, researchers, and businesses are continually working to address these issues, making the technology more accessible, enjoyable, and safe for everyone. Stay tuned as we navigate the evolving landscape of virtual and augmented reality together. As we navigate through the challenges, it's important to shine a light on the potential benefits of VR and AR for education and learning. Imagine having the ability to walk through the ruins of ancient Rome, dissect a virtual frog, or navigate the solar system, all from the comfort of your own home or classroom. This is the immersive, interactive learning experience that VR and AR can provide, making education more engaging and ultimately more effective. These technologies can simulate real-world scenarios for practical learning. Students can witness historical events unfold or explore scientific phenomena in a controlled, safe environment. 
It's like having a field trip without leaving the classroom, a lab experiment without the potential hazards. This hands-on approach can enhance understanding and retention, offering a unique perspective that traditional learning methods often can't. Beyond the classroom, VR and AR can facilitate remote learning, breaking geographical barriers and making quality education accessible to all. A student in a rural area can have the same learning opportunities as a student in a bustling city. In this digital age where remote learning is becoming more common, VR and AR can bridge the gap, fostering a more inclusive learning environment. In conclusion, the integration of VR and AR in education holds the promise of a revolutionized learning experience. It's not just about using new technologies, but about preparing students for a future where these technologies are part of everyday life. Despite the challenges, the potential benefits are immense, and the journey is just beginning. So let's continue to explore the evolving landscape of VR and AR together, envisioning a future where learning is not just about absorbing information, but about experiencing and interacting with it. While we've explored the many benefits of VR and AR, especially in the realm of education, it's equally important to consider the potential challenges these technologies may pose to our social interactions and relationships. As we delve deeper into the virtual realm, we risk creating a society where individuals may prefer the simulated interactions of the virtual world over the tangible real-world connections. This could lead to a form of social isolation where users become more engrossed in their virtual experiences, distancing themselves from the physical world and the people around them. Further, as we communicate more through these mediums, we risk losing out on the nuances of nonverbal communication. Facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice, all these are often lost in virtual interactions, potentially leading to misunderstandings and miscommunications. Moreover, the virtual world comes with its own set of privacy and security concerns. As we share more of our lives online, we also expose ourselves to the potential exploitation of our personal information. As we navigate this new virtual landscape, it's essential to understand these risks and how to mitigate them. As we continue to explore the evolving landscape of VR and AR, it's crucial we address these challenges head on. The goal is not to abandon these promising technologies, but to ensure a balanced and beneficial use. By doing so, we can harness the potential of VR and AR while protecting our social interactions and relationships, making these technologies a tool for connection rather than isolation. As we delve deeper into the world of VR and AR, it's crucial to address the elephant in the room, privacy and data security. These technologies are not just games or tools for education, they are windows into our personal lives, collecting a vast amount of personal data. This can include anything from physical movements and facial expressions to even more sensitive biometric data. This is not a future we wanna see. The onus is on the companies developing these technologies to prioritize data security and privacy. This means implementing robust encryption, ensuring secure data handling practices, and being transparent about what data is collected and how it's used. As we embrace the future of VR and AR, let's not forget the importance of safeguarding our privacy and data. After all, technology should serve us, not the other way around. As we continue to explore these technologies, we must stay vigilant, ensuring that our virtual experiences remain both enriching and secure. Now that we've delved into the challenges and implications of VR and AR, let's take a moment to look forward. Scene 7 is all about the future of these immersive technologies. Experts predict that as VR and AR continue to evolve, they will become even more integrated into our everyday lives. We may see advancements in fields like healthcare, with VR being used to treat phobias or AR helping surgeons perform complex procedures. In the realm of entertainment, we might witness the rise of interactive movies where you're not just a spectator, but a participant. And in education, imagine a virtual classroom where students from all over the world could learn together in real time. However, as we've discussed, this future comes with its own set of challenges. It's crucial that as we innovate, we also regulate ensuring data privacy, addressing social implications, and making these technologies accessible to all will be integral to their success. 
As we step into this exciting future, let's remember to tread responsibly, balancing the thrill of innovation with the importance of ethical technology use. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will delve deeper into these future predictions and explore some of the cutting edge research currently being done in the field of VR and AR. As always, thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of technology.